It is the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. And in studio, we have some guests this morning. Uh, very excited to talk to Eva and uh, Jackie. Eva and Jackie are, well, Eva is the CEO. Let me, let me just tell you that. She is the CEO, Big Cheese, of a company called B-Style Home Care. So welcome, Eva, Miss CEO. Is it Miss CEO or Madam CEO? What would you like? Uh, just CEO. Or just Eva. Eva. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're de- Oh, you okay. Yeah. We're, we're chill. And Jackie, you are co-administrator is I'm sorry. What what is your title again? Yes, co-administrator. Co-administrator. Okay. Tell me a little bit about B-Style Home Care. Okay, we are um we provide our home care services and it's no medical. And no worries, login is the best care because we offer the best care. Best, okay, but it's not medical. So it is um, if you have, so basically caregivers yeah. to assist with um, any kind of, uh, you know, maybe if you have someone who has had an operation lately and you need someone to help out, maybe do you do things like um, medication uh, or do you do, um, you know, like meal prep? Um, no, what we are, we don't do anything with medications. We just remind the client on when they're supposed to take their medications if needed. Mm-hmm. However, we do help with their daily task. For example, um, taking a shower or getting dressed or um, help to the restroom, preparing their food, grocery shopping, and such things. First things first, do you guys vet potential caregivers? Yes, we thoroughly vet them. They get a background check so that um, we can make sure that they don't have any fraud or felonies or sex offenses. We want to make sure we know who's going into our client's home. Have you come across anything that you had to stop, like, you know, in its tracks? No, we haven't. So far, so good, (laughs) right? So far, so good. Okay. And, of course, any of your employees who go to those homes are covered by uh, Workman's Comp in case of any injuries or problems. Yeah, yeah. Our agency is fully insuring and bonded and to cover important things like uh, workers' compensation. So our caregivers, uh, they are um, insured. So if uh, something happens, the, the client is not responsible for the medical bills. So peace of mind. Yes. Peace of mind when you come into the house. Does the agency send a registered nurse to meet the family or the person who needs the care and plan a care for the home caregivers to follow? No, they, we do not have any um, registered nurses on, fi- on staff. However, most of our staff, including uh, Ms. CEO, <laughs> um, are CNAs, so certified nurse assistants. They have that training, mm-hmm. as well as um, home health aides. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. So they are aware of all these um, medical things. However, we don't do any of the medical. Gotcha. So if there, if they find that there is a need to bring in someone, uh, a nurse or a doctor or whatever, they will be able to tell that there is that need, and then they they take the correct action. Is that what what I'm hearing? That's correct. Okay. Also, um, B Cell Home Care offers. Um, at home assessments so that we can sit together with the client and see what their um, needs are Mm -hmm. and be able to plan something out together. Do you ever find when you sit down and do that uh, kind of assessment that maybe things in the home need to change, maybe, uh, you you know, furniture needs to be moved around, a little safety precaution here, maybe a gate, maybe something that actually needs to happen? Yeah, uh, and it's better uh, to know the real necessities of each person because when we see the person, we uh, we can plan a real plan of care, yeah, basic and the things that we we are saying at the moment that we are in the home of the cl- of the future uh, prospect. So it's individual. It's it's individualized. Yes. It's not just cookie cutter. Everybody gets mm-hmm. the same plan. Yeah. It's no. it's 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 not. It's just uh, it's individualized. Not one for all. Um, so I'm assuming when they come to the home, the caregivers they have photo ID. So there's no um, there's no question of authenticity or who they are. 
That's correct. We want to make sure that the client feels safe in their own home. So each caregiver carries a badge so that you may know who's there. Oh, you know, you have to. Yeah. You have to be careful these days. You don't know who's ringing the doorbell. And you have to, and especially if you're opening it up and you have, you know, you, you've, you have a caregiver taking care of a family member, you want to know that they're safe. That's and, correct. you know, you can't, you can't be too safe. Yeah. Um, but here's, here's an interesting situation. And I know that my family has dealt with this in the past. Sometimes the caregiver, as wonderful as they are, or as nice as they are, they don't have the same vibe as the patient and they kind of knock heads a little bit. So in that particular case, what do we do? Do you send a replacement? Do you do a reassessment? How do we handle something like that? Um, it's actually a great question because it gets asked a lot when um, someone doesn't vibe or they're just not comfortable with that caregiver then you can call um, the office or talk to Eva um, directly mm -hmm. and we will gladly switch until you find someone that you're comfortable with. until you're comfortable because mm -hmm. it is it's it's a very vulnerable situation that you have you know that there's you you have to treat it with respect and dignity no matter if it's mm -hmm. if it's someone who just got out of a maybe uh you know rehab maybe they had a knee replacement and they need some help or something a little bit more sensitive like a dementia patient um it's very they're very vulnerable and they need to get along with that caregiver or else it, it, it could get uh, just unpleasant at, at the very least. That's correct. You want to make sure that the client is comfortable. 24-hour mm -hmm. uh, care, do you offer that? Or overnight care? I know sometimes, um, again, personal experience, uh, we needed overnight care just to make sure there were no, the, some of the medications given uh, made the patient, an elderly patient, sundown or uh, had adverse reactions, and they just needed kind of a, I don't want to say a babysitter, but that's what they did. They sat and just made sure there were no night terrors or anything like that. Do you offer that kind of service? Yes, it's companionship. We want to make sure that the person is safe, so we offer um, 24 hours, 365 days a year. We make sure we have enough people to cover each patient, uh, each, I'm sorry, um, client, and um, also from personal experience, when you are overwhelmed, someone has just come out of the hospital like we had with my grandfather not too long ago. Um, we're watching them 24-7 at night. You need to sleep so you can go to work and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, respite, so is, respite yeah. care is, is essential because yeah. if, if you get so tired – you're not good to that person anymore. That's you know, correct. you're trying to be a hero and you're trying to, you know, make things happen. But when you just reach that level, you need to, you know, you need a nap. Yes, that's, um, that's when uh, B-Style Home Care com can come in and help. BStyleHomeCare.com. Go okay. to BStyle homecare.com set up an appointment talk to you uh talk to jackie talk to madam ceo <laughs> eva uh and and to see what they have to offer in your particular case is that the best way to go about it go to the website at bstylehomecare.com yes or call 661-417-4414 jackie can you repeat that number 661-417-4414 pleasure having you both in studio this morning with me uh good luck thank and uh thank you, you so know, much you guys i think you're gonna need a nap pretty soon as well <laughs> yes. it's a tough it's tough right it's tough it's 24 7 365 yeah. right yes. so thank you very much for doing this for the community and we wish you the best of luck it is bstylehomecare.com thank you